unfortunately, he has convinced many of the young men and young women in the city uh, obfuscating scriptures. And uh, when I decided that, look, I'm not going to bow down mm. like others who are kissing his feet mm. 10,000 times. They don't like me. Mm. So anyway, I analyzed his interview and I came up with uh, six by six by six reasons. Six theological re errors. Okay? Yes. Six body language errors. Yes. At six factual errors. So I put this out and I will be loading them up on my YouTube channel. Mm. But I'm happy to share with you what I came up with. Okay. Mm. Uh, whenever they ask Prophet Elvis Mbonye a straightforward question. Yes. Hey, did you prophesy the coronavirus? Mm -hmm. And uh, a normal person would say without thinking, yes, yes or, or no. no. But Prophet Elvis, he starts, uh, mm, uh, what? What, uh, uh, what I said. What, what, what are you saying? Now, when you study the ability or sincerity of persons during interrogation, mm. I took time to study and read up of how to, how to detect someone who is not being sincere, mm. who is not being deliverable. And uh, one of the things that they use is the conflict between body languages mm -hmm. and uh, what, what the person saying. is saying. Yeah. Mm. So if if a person has to think a lot about what he should say, um, he has to. Uh, mm, uh, mm. <laughs> you know. You know. Mm, mm. Yes. That that is an indicator that the person may not be sincere or telling the honest truth. So I took time to analyze that, and I'm like, look, anyone who sees Elvis, mm. he's swinging back and forth, uh, even in all interviews, I'm like, dude, can't you just sit down? Mm. Just settle down. Mm. And then on the simplest things, he is stuttering and he's stuck. And normally when he speaks and preaches, mm. he does that. So I came up with uh, six conclusions mm. that it may not be getting the honest truth. Mm -hmm. What are those? Uh, but, well, the second thing is he, he says that uh, when they ask, tell us about the prophecy that you, you saw coronavirus coming. Yes. And he says, well, uh, I told people that there was someone who was going to have a seven or four week, 14 day uh, hospitalized <laughs> and then he says that uh, he also had that uh, it's going to somewhat something to do with Yiga. Eh? Yes, mm -hmm. and Yiga later was arrested. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and that uh, if you put those two together, it then you, then you, it is equal to coronavirus. <laughs> so, Pastor Semba, let me ask you something right there. Is prophecy in this day and age still valid? Oh, yes, it, yes, it is valid, but we do have a problem. Jesus warned us mm. that it would be many false prophets. So, how do you tell a false prophet? Well, uh, in this case, we can ask, number one, Hey, is this person speaking the word of the Lord? Mm. Yes. Two, and what is the essence? What is the end? Is it to call people to repent of their ways and turn to God? Or is it to make them give him money? Mm. And in this case, we, we looked and it, it's questionable because I have not heard a message of repentance. Mm. Jesus is coming back soon. Mm. We must repent. Yes. We must turn away from our evil ways. Mm. And, but but and, there's, and something, what, there's something he uh, said, Pastor uh, uh, Sempa. He said, uh, when God gives him prophecy, whatever that is, when God gives him prophecy, he is the one, Pastor, uh, uh, man of God, Elvis <laughs> Simbonye, is the one to decide whether he tells the people or right. not. 
But biblically, if God gives you a prophecy, what is the way forward? Well, what happened was Elvis uh, claimed in his first interview that uh, he had actually received the message of coronavirus, yes. but people would not believe him. You Ugandans mm. would, not. would not believe him. Mm. So he did not tell us because you you would not believe him. Mm. So in that case, people said, wait, if you knew but you didn't tell us, mm -hmm. then you could be an accomplice <laughs> to murder. <laughs> oh, yes. So then his effort to try and show himself like he knew about it, he dug himself into a hole. Mm. So that's why he comes back the second time and tries to make it right and says, look, I am not a public servant. Mm -hmm. I am a man of God. Mm. And uh, I don't tell anyone that once my things are spiritual, mm. you people may not even understand them. You mm. are carnal. Mm. And if you don't believe it mm. and don't give money, I will not tell them to you. Now, mm. the issue is this. Prophets of God, they speak regardless of how people respond. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's that, like broadcasters. Yeah. They broadcast God's message. Like for you, yeah. you get behind the microphone, you broadcast what you have to say. Yeah. If people listen or don't listen, it's up to them. Yeah. It's the same with prophecy. Jeremiah, he preached. Uh, Ezekiel, he preached. Uh, listen, many people who may choose not to listen, and this is what God says to Ezekiel, son of man. Prophesy to these dead bones. Mm -hmm. This is called the valley of dead bones. Mm -hmm. He says, whether they believe you or don't believe you, mm -hmm. they yes. will know that a prophet has been among them. Mm -hmm. Now, there is popular opinion prophets. They are like, are you going to believe what I'm going to say? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Then let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I just like to ask you. That, that's what Bonya is telling us. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. my issue here is I'm very concerned yeah. about the many young men and young women who have been duped. Okay? They are at the feet of Elvis. They are kissing him 10,000 times, 10,000. They are worshiping him. And I'm telling them, like Jesus went into the temple, mm. get off the path. But yes. the prophet get off says, your knees. The prophet, stop worshipping a man. The prophet, stop worshipping God. Mm -hmm. If you ever stop worshipping Elvis, he's uh, just a mere man. Pastor Kemper, the, the prophet off, goes ahead to say that you who speak against his people, they keep giving and giving to the fellowship. You know nothing, mm. and therefore you, you should not speak. Because fellowship. for them, mm. as much as they give, they, their wells don't run dry. Mm. What do you have to say about that? <laughs> he actually said, the blessings work on you as you receive. In his own words. <laughs> Listen, mm. let's take that this way. Mm -hmm. I went to Elvis Mbonia's meeting because they challenged, they say, come over to the meeting. So I went to his meeting, Kaburita. Uh, I met him and invited so I went over there. I got to tell you, what turned me off was this. Mm. When I was entering their meeting, there were special forces, men, soldiers, carrying big guns mm. every two meters. I'm like, wait, if this is a man who claims to have supernatural powers, mm. that he actually is able to beat the devil and he almost killed <laughs> Lucifer. Mm. He cannot be able to protect his people. Why does he have to depend on special forces mm. to guard him? Mm. And I'm like, uh-uh. Something is not adding up here, okay? Mm -hmm. It's not adding up here. So my, my, my idea is, look, I recognize people are giving money. They are, it's their money, okay? You can give your money. That's, that's your business. But listen, do not deceive us that you are to be worshipped. Mm. Do not deceive, take what that belongs to God mm. and make your own. Mm. So really, on my issue, I have been there. 
And uh, you know what? When the person is getting the money, he says, look, it's more blessed for you to give than to receive. Than, than re- so the only while, person... While he receives. When he receives, and he says, God rejoices in the prosperity of his servants. So, in this problem, the only servant who's rejoicing is Elvis. Mm. He's driving a Range Rover. Mm. And I'm saying, Elvis, how about we sell one of those Range Rovers mm-hmm. and we donate to the poor people mm. just in how much pressure we could buy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I mean, maybe, maybe the guy, how many Range Rovers is he driving? In fact, if I was Solomon, yeah. I was a bit disappointed with Solomon Seranja. Mm. I thought he could have been more tough and asked, man, how much money do you make so a month so that you buy yeah. Range Rovers and Mercedes? Maybe okay? he was I just listen, found it. In, 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 uh, uh, Pastor, in regards to the, to the uh, uh, getting on two people uh, on one's knees and kissing his feet, He's given biblical um, uh, uh, examples behind this act. Um, I don't know what, what is wrong. He asks, what is wrong if it's done in the present day? Man, this guy, mm. I, Mbonye, look, Mbonye is lying. Mm-hmm. Mbonye is lying. He's lying the people. God has said us in this word, we should not worship man. It's the number one command. Mm. We go to the book of Exodus. Chapter 20, he says, you shall not bow down to anything on earth, under the earth, or below, or up in heaven. Mm -hmm. When we see a case in Acts chapter 14, verse 1 to 14, Mm. Paul went, Paul Paul and Silas, they went to this island, and because they made such miracles, and there were such great prophets, people brought for them offerings and they were bowing down to worship them the way they do Mbonye. Yes. Paul was so afraid. Mm. He said, stop. Stop. Get off your feet. Stop mm. worshiping me. Mm. He mm. even ripped his cloth and he says, I'm just a mere man. Mm. So what is Larry? So how can Mbonye allow people to bow down and worship him? That's well, wrong. He says we, Peter allowed them to, to go next to his shadow and they were healed. But still on that, what that clarity... Is, wait, 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 come back, come back. Yes, yes, that's what I he said. That, is that look, biblical? I got a lie detector. Mm. I got a theology... That's another of a theological lie. Mm. Okay? And on mm. that, on that, Pastor Sempa, what are credentials for a man of God? Because uh, Elvis Mbonye says uh, he was accredited by God and that all of you going to Bible school, you are secular. He is his best on record because every time he prophesies and says this and this is going to happen, it happens. In fact, for a man who says he does not like attention and he thrives on being criticized, he said uh, that, I mean, get my record, get any other African prophet and get their record and see whose record is is working great. So what are the credentials for a man of God? Because if we are starting to see biblical lies uh, being told as truths, and then Bible school is now apparently secular, what is the way to go? Well, we have a problem. Elvis has been claiming that his major evidence of being a man of God and being the greatest is that he's able to foretell the future. Now, he has a crisis of credibility because he was not able to see and prophesy coronavirus. So right now what we are seeing is a desperation. He is trying to rewrite history. He's trying to tell us he got to know about coronavirus in January when China announced coronavirus in December the last year. Yeah, now, yeah. It's becoming funny. I mean, it's really, it, the more he continues to justify himself, he's digging himself into the ground. Mm-hmm. He, he told us, look, uh, I knew about it, but I didn't tell you. Mm. Because you won't believe it. People are like, come on, Elvis. Mm. Why didn't you tell us? Mm. It would save us a lot of problems. Mm. So now he, he does a second interview. And he says, well, I told you, but, but you won't believe it. Now, uh, but I dropped hints of Augustine Yeager and 14 days. 
Why don't you people believe me? I'm the greatest. I'm the greatest. <laughs> prophecy. No, no. It is the apostle. In fact, yes. if you were in a place or in a church yeah. which led only by a prophet mm. who does not have a presiding apostle over them, you are playing basketball with one person versus five. Mm. You see, a full team of God's ministry should have five full mm. ministries. The prophet is never called to lead the church. Mm. That is all wrong. Mm. The person who leads the church is the apostle and the pastor, supported by teachers, supported by evangelists, supported by prophets. You see, a prophet can foretell a, uh, a word of God and then the next time tell something from the devil. We see in the book of uh, Matthew chapter 18, mm. Peter foretold uh, that when Jesus says, who do men say that I am? And Peter said, you are the Christ, the son of the living God. And everybody says, wow. Jesus says, flesh and blood has not revealed that to you except my father who is in heaven. But so everybody was like, wow, wow, Peter, you are the greatest. But just a few sentences later, Jesus said, guys, I have to go to Jerusalem and I'm going to be killed. And the son of man has to suffer, but I will resurrect. Then Peter said, no, Jesus, don't go that. We can't do that. We want to be successful. We want to have a great ministry. Don't talk about dying. Don't talk about dying in Jerusalem. Well, let's go big. The ministry is booming. Then Jesus said to him, do you remember what he said? Remember me, please. He said, get behind me, Satan. Satan. So the prophet... At that time, Paul, Peter wasn't speaking under the power of God. He was speaking under the deception of Satan. Now, every prophet, like Elvis Bonnier, he needs someone who is an apostle. To listen to him and says, Elvis, what you said here was probably right, but what you've just said here is absolutely satanic. Mm, mm. I must get behind me. <laughs> uh, as we just went up this first session, uh, the prophet also talks about facing Lucifer and fighting Lucifer. <laughs> the man of God. I can't stop laughing. How? <laughs> Lucifer. I almost beat Lucifer. Okay. I mean, this is like VJ Junior type things. You know, Captain Nika Mutia and this thing. Will your prophet Elvis? I didn't get the word. I didn't get the word. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. Oh, really? Ah, Pastor. Listen, Pastor, I'm going to ask you to stay on the line. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, uh, a few more questions. By the way, in, in case anyone has a question for the pastor, you yes. can call in on 0703-979797. We're talking about um, uh, uh, Prophet uh, Elvis Mbonye, the mm. analysis that uh, Pastor Martin Sefer has come up with. after.